Hello my dear professionals. Today we are focusing on new feature introduced in Web Methods 10.15. Which is concurrent request limit for services in IS. Let's create a flow service for this demonstration. Here I am invoking a debug log service, to log some text when service started. And another debug log service for end of execution. In order to perform concurrent requests limit, let's delay the service execution by few seconds, with the help of repeat step. In the properties view, give the re-execution count to 1. And set repeat on success. Repeat interval is the value that we are going to use for wait time between executions. So let's have 10 seconds wait time for our demo. You can assume there is some business logic inside the repeat step, which can take lot of resources and time to finish the job. Let's run the service before setting concurrent requests limit. Go to IS admin, and check the server logs. The service has started. And completed after 10 seconds. Now we are good to perform concurrent requests limit. In the properties view of the service, scroll down to bottom. Here I am enabling this option for top level services, with limit 1. Save changes. Let's perform service requests from external component called Postman. Create a request for our service invocation. Type the request URL with full namespace of our service. and send the request. Access to this request is denied. So add basic authentication as well. Send one request first. The request is processing and it took around 10 seconds to complete as expected. Let's now prepare for concurrent requests. and send both the requests within 10 seconds. Now you can see the response says service unavailable for the second request, which the request has reached the maximum limit.
and if you hit the same request after 10 seconds, it will work. Thank you.